Michio Kaku once said that if we find a quantum theory for space time, it will answer some of the most philosophical questions that we have, like what happened before and during the Big Bang. Now, the Big Bang is a prevailing cosmological model for how the universe began. Now, I know I used some big words there, so in simpler terms, it's a leading explanation to the beginning of the universe. Namaste, my name is Ahana Singh, and I'm from the Sriram School of Ravali. And as you've probably already guessed, my topic is the Big Bang Theory. While I was searching for a topic to talk about, I came across the Big Bang and it really appealed to me. Our universe, our galaxy, our planet is our home. And we choose to look at the more philosophical side of why we are here instead of really knowing why we are here. Uh, instead of really knowing why we are here. And there are so many questions that we cannot answer, like what came first, the chicken or the egg? What makes us human? Um, how did life begin? But there are so many questions that we can answer, like how did the universe begin? Or where did the universe begin? These are questions worth having answers to. And that's why my talk was the big, and that's why I chose my topic to be the big fan. Now the Big Bang was not an explosion, as the name may suggest, but it was more an expansion. Most astronomers, physicists, and cosmologists agree on the Big Bang theory, and they agree that the universe was a million, billion, billion times smaller than an atom, and has been expanding for the last 13.8 billion years. But scientists have also been trying to seek out proof for its rapid inflation. Now, if the universe initially was very, very hot, there should be some remnant of this heat. And in 1965, Robert Wilson found uh, a 2.725 CMB radiation, and this was uh, thought to be that remnant. And in 1978, he won the Nobel Prize in Physics for his discovery. We all ponder why we are here, and if we sit and think about the entire universe, the thought would be mind-boggling. But science has now proved that the universe is in fact finite and had a past, present and a definite future. Thank you.